Hey, today we're going to talk about venting on plumbing fixtures. And I know I've gone over this before in the past. And I forget, it's all you ever talk about. So what I've done here is I've removed the vent off my kitchen sink. You can see where I've cut the pipe there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a pipe coming across here. And what this is going to be is a drain for another fixture. Let's say this drain is on the second floor. In this case, I'll just put it above the kitchen sink. And what that's going to show us is what happens when you put a plumbing fixture above a plumbing fixture without venting it properly. Proper fucked. So the biggest problem you're going to see when you do things like this in improper plumbing, we'll say, is that you're going to get gurgling noises and you're going to get trap seal losses. So what a trap seal loss is, is when you lose the water in a P-trap. Now a P-trap is basically your only line of defense against sewer gases. So you can see here I've got a P-trap on which is going to simulate let's say a vanity sink that's plumbed in above. So what I'll do is I'll fill the kitchen sink up and we'll see what happens. And then one day it exploded and it killed everyone. Alright so just to go over one more time what I've done here and let's pretend this is a vanity sink and we have our kitchen sink here. So what's going to happen is the kitchen sink is going to drain down, it's going to go through the P-trap and it's going to want a vent to pull air in. Now we don't have a vent. So let's see what happens when we pull the drain. So I'll shut up here and you can hear the noise it makes. You see how it pulled all the water out of the pee trap. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow sewer gases in. It's also going to, anytime you hear that gurgling noise, you basically have sewer gases coming into your house after it's drained. Because there is no water in the P-trap. Thanks for watching. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's over.